<laughs> hey, my ladies. It's been a really long time, so bear with me. I hope I have all of the gear connected. And I hope my internet connection is good. This is my first time trying to broadcast from the new house. And I wanted to do some vinyasa yoga flow, mostly for me because I did that race yesterday and I was not at all physically prepared and now I'm very tight, very sore today. So I'm going to take it chill, do 20 or 30 minutes of yoga and just try and open up some of these tight muscles. And I know that you all get that way sometimes too. So this will be good for you all to use as a part of your weekly workout routine. Um, hit me back in the comments if something doesn't sound right. I know it's a little dim because my patio faces north, so I don't have any direct sunlight, but um, hopefully the broadcast will still come through okay for you. Let's get flowing. <laughs> So we're actually going to start on the mat. Come on down with me. Come on down. Start in child's pose. And I just want you to start breathing here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Pay attention to how your body moves sort of up and down with your breath here. Next inhale, I would like you to walk your hands to the left and so breathe in. Take it over, stretch it out. Now the first five or six minutes of any yoga practice is sort of a grounding and warming phase. So I want you to ground yourself in your body as we warm it up to do a little movement. Back center, inhales and exhales. Can you push back deeper into your shoulders and hips now? Next inhale, walk the hands to the right. coming back to the center for me. And we're going to pull ourselves up into cat and cow. Find that tabletop position. Arch the back up. And exhale it down. right arm and we're just going to roll it back in out last one other side in out one more time and then we're going to take that left arm forward lift the right arm up and bring it underneath your left, bring that right ear down. Another time, inhale that arm up, lower it down.
hands back to center. Right arm is forward, left arm, inhale it up. Take it underneath. Inhale it up. One more time on this side. Take it underneath. Find yourself back in child's pose. And then we're gonna pull forward into upward dog. I need to move my tiny dog. <laughs> upward dog. Big breath. Tucking those toes into downward dog. So I'm really tight this morning. I can't get those hamstrings down yet. I'm gonna drop my knees, look forward, back into child's pose. Again, integrating and warming here. Inhale, up dog. Tucking those toes, downward dog. Bending the knees, looking forward, dropping back down. Inhale, exhale. Upward dog. Downward dog. Now pedal those heels down here. And let's hold the left, hold the left. Now hold the right. Make any adjustments you need with your footing. Dropping those knees, bring the elbows in and stretch out through your shoulders and upper back. If you can bring the hands together behind your head. Bring the hands back to the mat. Pull yourself into upward dog with an inhale. Exhaling to down dog. Lift that right leg. And then pull it forward. All the way through to your chest. And we're going to drop that back knee. Inhale up. Kneeling crescent. Left hand, and we're going to drop it back. We're going to reach back nice and deep with that right arm. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, pulling the toes up on that right leg. Now let's repeat that and really connect your breath to the movement. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do it one more time. I feel like doing it again. And up. And back. And up. And down. Bring yourself forward using those hands for balance. We're going to lift up and stretch out in this low runner's lunge here. Just hold this. And 
And then we're going to bring our right arm up in a twist. Releasing that. Both hands come down to the mat. And then bring that right leg back. And push yourself back into the downward dog. Looking forward, dropping the knees. Child's pose. Drawing the elbows in. And pulling the hands back behind the head. Hands come back to the mat. Lift yourself up into upward dog. Downward dog. Driving that left leg up. Pulling it all the way through, knee to chest. And then gently lowering yourself down with that right leg and inhale up, kneeling flexion on this side. Exhaling back with that right arm, lifting to the left. Inhaling up. And exhaling down, pulling the toe. Let's inhale it up again. And back. Last one, bring it up. And reach. And lift. And toe up. I'm already feeling better. That smile has crept onto my face. I hope you're smiling some here too. Pull yourself forward. We're gonna lift up into that low runner's lunge here. Both hands down. Right hand stays down, open that left in a twist. Bring that down. Take that right leg back in your downward dog. From here, we're gonna walk our feet up into our hands. Walk with me. Perfect. Hang here over the knees. Let's grab the elbows. And just rock yourself back into your hips, into your hamstrings. Mine are very, very tight. Taking the hands back to the floor. Rolling up to the spine one at a time. Big shoulder rolls up. Big breaths. Next inhale, take those palms open and just reconnect with your breath work here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, arms up. And sitting down into chair pose. Exhale, arms down, swinging the arms back. Inhaling, up, lifting. 
Do that two more times, down in the chair. One more time, exhale it down. Inhale, arms back. Exhale up. Clasp those hands overhead, inhale. Exhale onto the side, bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Sit it down in the chair. And we're going to step that right foot back into crescent pose. I'm, I want to open my hands here, open my chest. Let your heart shine a little bit in this one. Then inhale up. And draw the hands to prayer. Step it up in the chair. Open palms. Gather that power and bring it up. Sit it down in the chair. Hands to heart center. Left leg stepping back into crescent. Open palms, shine the heart. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Step it up in a chair. Open the palms. Gather that power, lift. Beautiful work. Bring those hands to prayer. Root yourself into your right leg. And we're gonna lift the left foot into a standing quad stretch. And if we can, we're gonna reach both hands around. Oh, 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 oh. And pull that foot as close to you as you can. Stepping back with that left leg. Both toes are facing forward. I'm gonna reach down over my right foot here. Stepping both feet together. Inhale that back to flat back. Lengthening tailbone to the crown of your head. Exhaling down. And let's do a full sun salutation here. Walk the feet back. Plank position into upward dog. Downward dog. Stretch it back. Walking the feet into the hands. Inhaling up. Exhaling hands to prayer. What about these cicadas, right? Root yourself into your left leg. Lift the right into that standing quad stretch here. And if we can, we'll bring that arm around, pulling that foot as close to the body as you can. Pull your shoulder blades together in the back. That's a little tip to help you get those arms around. Stepping back with that right leg, reaching over your left foot. 
Stepping both feet together. Take the hands down. Walk those feet back into that plank position. Full sun salutation here. Upward dog. Downward dog. And from here, we're gonna lift that right leg. Drawing it through into crescent pose. Lift yourself up, inhale up. Exhaling to warrior two. And bringing that right arm down, reach it over. So you can stay here or you can intensify the expression a little bit and reach that up and over. Back to warrior two. Reverse that. Back to warrior two. And deepening the expression further, taking that hand down to the floor. Inhale up warrior two. Reverse that. Back to two, lots of flow. And bring that back to crescent here. Both hands to the floor. Step that right leg back. Find your downward dog. Lift that left leg up. Pull it all the way through into crescent. Lift your body, using your core and your lungs. Opening into warrior two. Reverse warrior. Back to two. I am going to straighten the leg on this one. Back to two. Bringing that left elbow down to the knee. Arching up. Back to two, reverse, back to two, and intensify the expression for me, bring that hand down, the knee, the shin, the floor, wherever you are in your practice. Let's lift back to two. Powerful breath all the way back to crescent. Lowering yourself down. Stepping back with that left leg in your plank pose. Find your downward dog. Let's draw that right leg up. Pull it through, this time into pigeon stretch. Rest in pigeon. Shift your weight here when you come up into your hands. Shift your weight to the side. So you just kind of roll your body into a single leg hamstring stretch here on the opposite side.
bring that right leg across. Pull the left heel in to your seated figure four. And then take that top foot down to the floor. I'm, I've rolled all the way away from you now. I can look at you though from my back. <laughs> Twist that body. To bring that right foot around, roll your body back, hands down, walking back into downward dog. Lifting that left leg this time, pulling it through to pigeon, so we can do everything we just did on the left. Rest in your pigeon. yourself to the hands, shifting your body to the side so that your right leg is out and you do that seated hamstring stretch on this side. Left leg on top, seated figure four stretch on this side. Bring that top foot down here, twist that right arm across. Face you, we're stacking up here into full lotus. I guess back a little bit. Here, inhale those arms up and bring your right arm over your left knee. Inhale up, left hand over left foot. Come down, palms back, shine that heart again. Drawing back to the center, we're just gonna switch our seat here. And even if you don't have the stack going, do this in a crisscross, just switch your legs. Left hand over right knee, bring it down. Inhale up. Right hand over left foot. No, right foot, whichever foot. Inhale, center. Hands come down. Lift the chest and the chin. and bring it back for me. Feet into cobbler stretch here. Ow, I have found my hip flexors. 
Bring those legs back into gentle crisscross. And we are going to massage the spine here. So just relax your body and roll. And I'm just gonna focus on one direction here. Aiming for movement. And if I find a catch somewhere, that's what I'm gonna go back for. I'm gonna go back for that hitch in my giddy up. So you rotate and switch directions wherever you find those little glitches. You lift nice and tall for me. Seated cat and cow arching in. Lifting all the way up. Do that one more time. And, and up. Extend the legs. Inhale up tall. Forward fold. I know I said 20 or 30 minutes, but sometimes I get going and we just have to keep flowing. So I will wrap it up probably in about five more minutes. Do that. Inhale up one more time. Take it out. This time flex the feet. Dig into the bottom of the foot. And then from here, we're going to walk ourselves back into the line. Pull those heels in nice and close for bridges. So lift yourself up, rolling the shoulders into the floor. And peeling yourself down. Two more. Soften down. One more. and soften down we're going to extend that right leg pull your right knee in and then twist it over your body looking into your right hand Coming back, hugging that knee in. Extending that right leg, drawing in the left. And then hugging it over your body, looking into your left hand. Bring that leg in. One more time for the hug. Extending that left leg. Now here's your time to take the palms up to completely relax the rest of your body.
Wow. <laughs> I kind of zoned for a minute there. <laughs> I hope you did too. Now, come back to this one whenever you need to open up those tight muscles of your body um, or if you just want to feel really refreshed and loose again. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.